All right, what's going on, guys? Fox here, and for the past three days, I've actually been working on this a thousand kill count for um for Avianzis. I actually do have a thousand a thousand kills just because I went into Armadillo, and I uh, figured you know even I wouldn't want to lie to you guys and say that I got you know I wouldn't want to lie to you guys have a thousand up there when it would actually be a thousand forty because then that would skew the uh the information that we have here. So we can just go ahead and check how much GP we made from from uh. From this a thousand kill count um it took me maybe four or five hours to do it, and that's only because i afk'd the hell out of this uh <laughs> out of this little project i did here so that's the only reason why it took me so long ride me with a couple hundred k of experience um honestly i was afking so much of it it probably i if i were paying more attention it's probably worth it because i could see this being well over a mil per hour for someone with the with higher stats and wow um, Adam and Bars actually went up as I was doing this. Yesterday they were 3.9k. The day before that they were 3.8k. So uh, this is pretty awesome. Um, this is a very nice way to make money, and this was this was highly profitable when they were like 2k each, and now look, they're 4k each. So I this is the most boring thing I've ever done in my life. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna lie to you about that. Most boring money making method ever. But uh, the GP, if you have higher range than I do, which I'm sure you do, because my range is pretty pitiful. Uh, I usually just mage everything. Then um, this could be an an amazing, just flawless money making method. So I'm hoping to just get at least, you know, I'm hoping to get Pernix soon. Um, I actually think I have the GP to do it right now, but I hate buying things and then not having like any GP at all left over. So I think I'm gonna wait until I can until I have enough GP to own both Virtus and Pernix, which I have Virtus in bank, but I want to have enough GP to own both both Virtus and Pernix to um to buy anything. So. Yeah, let's see. How much would it give me? I was at 1 point something mil XP. That's like 1.6 mil XP, something like that. And it's given me a couple hundred XP. It's given me one level. Uh, several hundred XP, not a couple hundred. And I wouldn't say it's the best, you know, method for training range. But if you're lower, if you're like the lower 80s in range, use some bolts. And uh, this could be actually be some decent GP per hour. Not GP. Yeah, GP per hour for sure. And uh, XP per hour for you. But... I can see this going a lot smoother with a higher range level. Um, the damage, only reason that you see my uh, my health low. You can honestly just sit here forever just using Regenerate. You really don't need Prayer Potions. I was only using that because I was planning on soloing um, Al uh, Armadillo every now and then, but I went in there and, I don't know, it just didn't... It just I just wanted to do this video, so, yeah. But I actually got this idea from Eraser Gaming. Uh, it looked like a pretty cool idea, and he he had like extremes and stuff like that, and or no, he had overloads and stuff like that. And so I just wanted to show you guys, um, you know, the results of a lower level player doing it. Um, yeah. So he he had what overloads, and he was using prayer. I was only all I was using was super ranging flash, and this took a hell of a lot longer. So it's definitely worth it using prayer. Trust me. Bring prayer flash, bring penance, bring master reverence. Uh, you need prayer, all right? It it definitely speeds this the hell up. I just didn't want to leave because I was in such a like I was in I was in the zone, all right. I wanted to keep going, and then I was in a couple hundred, and I'm like, no, I'm not leaving. And then I didn't even feel like asking somebody to bring stuff to me. Oh, and you get swordfish drops every now and then, so that's pretty cool. But um, yeah, I'd say the adamant bar drops are fairly common, and it's definitely you know you should assume that you're going to get one every every other kill or so. Uh, at first, it started slowing down after a while. That's why you can see I only have like 888 Adam and bars and almost a thousand kill count. But yeah, it was a very boring experience, but definitely worth it because I got about to get two um, ranging levels from it and about four mil. So uh, I was let me show you the gear I was doing this with. I'm sorry. So there's the gear. I have a hood on, but it's just it's just my dragon keepsake. I actually have full armor. And, uh, well, not full armor, but you know what I mean, I have Glavins, and I only have these gloves of subjugation because it doesn't really change your, uh, doesn't really change your accuracy or anything like that, and it's a Zami item, and, you know, I need, I can't use a Zami arrow because I need bolts, so, which I used, how many bolts did I use? I didn't use Ava's tractor or Alerter, my bad. I started this out with 1.8k bolts, and I now have over, almost a 500 bolts. So, yeah, this is definitely where Ava's Alerter would help out. <laughs> And uh, let's go ahead and check the state of my row across. But was at 100% and now it's at 13%. So maybe my calculations are off on how many hours I spent here. I will definitely go check that and put it in the description of how long, um, you know, 87%. How long I um, how long I was actually here instead of just my guess. So, yeah, um, that'll be the end of this video, I guess.
go ahead and check out my previous video. Let me try and think of what I uploaded before. It was uh, God Wars Dungeon, the Gimme Give Give the Loot series. Um, I was at Ceradome, Ceradome, and just see the drops I got, see my, uh, you know, my progress. I'm trying to get every unique drop from, drop from Ceradome, and so I'll go ahead and link that in the description as well. And thank you for watching, and goodbye.